Thanks, Peter. Their market is restricted to only 100,000 people worldwide. So point of difference and being the best is everything. The latest product research by protective hockey gear maker Oboe has come up with some startling findings. Oboe now has to decide whether to sell the information they've uncovered or to make something that will lead the sport protection industry. Justin Turner with us. Oh, he's sweet at him. In less than a second, yeah, it could all it. be over. Then the products That's truly have nice. to work. But most sport protective headgear on the market does it, according to a new state-of-the-art testing lab. We found that some of the products don't work. Well, it's a concern because I've got children and they play some of these sports, but it's also for us a major opportunity. The Palmerston North like designer this. of hockey yes. gear says I'm the speed of balls thrown, hit or bowled at players has increased. Yet technology around testing protective equipment has fallen behind. We've built a lab which will help us in the design of better products. So we can now fire balls at uh, speeds that you can replicate on the field. Christchurch company Nightside helped create the software used to measure the shock to the face and the brain upon impact linked up to a special camera taking photos at warp speed. Here they can see exactly what's happening, which is giving them a lot more information and they can synchronise that with the, the data that they're recording. It's only with that knowledge that we can now start understanding that and then start designing around the, the realities of what people are facing. They reckon they've created the recipe for the safest mask. Now it's about combining materials to meet the needs of a human face while still making it look great. Aimed particularly for hockey, cricket and softball players, Obo has also uncovered safety information that may benefit other products, even vehicle testing. And they're now looking at whether selling that information may be the best option. I think you use it in, in quite an, a range of sports, particularly with sports equipment, when you've got uh, missiles being fired at people. But whatever they decide, Obo reckons, thanks to them, playing sport may soon be whole lot safer. Justine Turner reporting there.